everybody and welcome back to On The Table, guys. So, whose table are we on this time? You may have noticed that the surroundings are slightly different, aka it's clean, it's tidy, it's got girly things on it. If I just move it up a little bit and do a little bit of a pan, a little bit of a cheeky cheeky pan, you'll see that we're not actually on my desk at all. In fact, we're on my wife's desk because guess what guys, I've actually managed to get my wife into painting miniatures. That's right, George, would you like to make yourself known? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Remember the last time we did a video like this? Yeah, the last time we did a video like this, I got that one. <laughs> I know, she, she got this one. Um, however, um, what this video, uh, I'd just like to uh, point out that um, that was a surprise. It There's was. also another surprise in this video, and it is, I want a divorce. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, why the fuck would I divorce you? You get half my minis. I don't want that. <laughs> Um, but no, so um, yeah, so th this is this is George. This is George's hand. Hello. <laughs> and uh, she's been painting uh, miniatures. So uh, uh, a while ago, we went. Well, I went to uh, 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 Chilcom, and I uh, came back with uh, some little uh, miniatures. I didn't think that she'd end up painting them because <laughs> the amount of times that I've got her things to do and things to paint and stuff, and she's gone, yeah, yeah and they've sat in a drawer for several months or years. It's literally a case of well. Um, I didn't expect much of this, but uh, she did surprise me. Uh, and basically, what we got into? Could you pass me the uh, the rule book? It should be under there. Yes. Um, what we uh, we we have been uh, looking at and possibly thinking about getting getting into is the uh, Burrows and Badges uh, game. It's a skirmish game uh, by Michael Lovejoy, and it is an absolutely delightful uh, game. It's got these anthropomorphic animals in it. It is uh, they're all like proper hand sculpted. They're all really really nice sculpts. And the thing that sculpts sculpts the thing that really got me into it was the fact that well I'm not I'm not really saying into it. The thing that attracted me to the game was how characterful the sculpts actually were. Um, now, John, you've never painted a miniature before, have you? No. In, 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 rega in regards to this. Um, how? Well, let's, 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 let's crack on. Let's pass us the, uh, the, the first one you ever did. This is the first miniature that, that George ever actually uh, did here. This is a uh, owl. It's, it's a, um, a barn owl. I don't know, really know what else it is. It's just a barn owl with armour on. He but it looks not have a name. He's just called Barn Owl. He's just, just called the Barn Owl. Um, but yeah, this is the first miniature that she ever painted. Like, ever. Period. Nothing else. Um, and I was really impressed. Uh, there was minimal coaching uh, from me, absolutely minimal coaching, and she got everything pretty much spot on. Even like the the the, the feet and stuff, which I, I I wouldn't have known really what color to do them. Um, but all the feathers and stuff are really really nice, and uh, even like the eyes and stuff, which she was uh, kind of uh, worried about doing, she got them perfectly. But what, John, what was your uh, experience? What was your um, your first opinion? Your first thoughts of painting a uh, a miniature? Uh, I found it more difficult than I thought I would. Um, things like the feathers, because I wanted to get a different like variation of colours, because I'm quite technical and what do I want to do anything else? So I wanted to like be the most amazing painter that I could possibly be in like five seconds. Even better than me. Yeah, I will get there. It's not hard to get better than me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I found difficulties with things like like now I look back at them, I can see the gold isn't amazing here it doesn't fully reach the size and things like that i had trouble trying to get a really crisp gold that was one of my biggest issues with it um and also i didn't know anything about washing when i painted this originally so i painted it and i was like that looks awful and i was like put some wash <laughs> on it it'll be better and I was like, oh no it looks really pretty <laughs> uh, but, but yeah yes. there's things i can see in this one now i look back at it like lines that, um sorry lines that aren't fully neatened and things like that that I can really see well, now. For but... a first attempt though, absolutely yeah. phenomenal and considering yeah. that was the first one you've ever done and you've only really been painting miniatures for probably the best part of a month on and off. Yeah, that's it. Um, the, the standard is 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 amazing. It's almost better than mine. Um, cause George likes to do lots of neat little things and likes to do stuff um, how do you say, you like to do things fully, whereas I try to do a quick and easy paint scheme to get stuff out yeah. that look effective. Jordan will go the whole hog and do the whistles and bells. Um, but let's put the other out to the side. What was the next one that you, you painted? Uh, this, I was so, so proud of this one. My little froggy. This is, this is, this is my, toad, this is my, my favourite one that she's, she's done, I think. It's just awesome. Like, everything just turned out perfect on it. It was like, the colour of the skin, it, the way it's kind of like, a glossy finish. We didn't really, you didn't really intend for it to be glossy, did you? I don't know how you had to obtain the glossy finish you didn't use a gloss varnish or a gloss wash no I it found just happened it. i found it with some of the burrows and badges miniatures that all the set most of the ones i've got are the metal ones 
and some will react to washes this way and become quite shiny and some won't. I don't know why it happens, but it works I for this I think it guy. was just a, ba a dodgy batch of, um, of Citadel wash, to be Possibly. honest. But I, I really like this one because I like, I like the fact that she's, she's taken the time to do his little nipple ring. Look at his, little, <laughs> look at his cheeky little frog nipple ring. Do frogs have nipples? No, they don't. <laughs> I think, I mean, it looks like he's got a nipple ring, but but even all the little pouches and on, on the bandolier that he's got and the little um, ropes that tie it on. Luna, sorry, we've got a grunty piggy dog underneath us just, just wanting attention. Um, but yeah, so that was that was your second attempt. Even the eyes, yeah. I was really impressed with the eyes because like I was, eyes are the things I hate doing. Eyes and um, and uh, edge highlighting, I loathe. But she perfectly did the uh, the eyes on there. I was really I love really chuffed with that. Eyes. <laughs> Uh, I think the next one we did was we went to Chilcon in Sheffield and they were here again Thurs and Badgers were there and I went a little bit mad buying a few things you so. spent like 30 quid on single yeah, niches it's great <laughs> she got another another froggo another toado he's a toad a toad mage and she did a little bit but she you uh, you did a bit more like kind of like shading on the underside of him yeah you? I differentiated like his little throat from the rest of him which I didn't do I'm not no, zoom out. It's fine. I didn't do on him, so you can see the difference between them. It was just learning new techniques from Paul and things like that. That oh, oh, learning new <laughs> techniques from me, <laughs> from little old me. <laughs> but I really like them. They're a real joy to paint. Like I love all the little details. Like he's got his little feathers and his yeah, the feathers are really nice. Things. And like you, you, I liked how you kind of like used like the different colors because those colors really pop. Even the green and the red and the, the the orange one, they really pop on a miniature that's got quite earthy tones to mm. it. Really, really good. And what was the next one that you got? This is one of your, your favourites. Oh, the next yeah, one. I love this one. It's a mole seeress. She's got a little crystal bowl. Oh, not oh, focusing. Oh, no. There we go. There you go. So I wanted to make her blind so she'd look really mystical. Like the voided, the voided eyes. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. But I love their moles. They're so full of detail. And this is when you were like, well, how how do I do like edge highlighting and stuff? Yeah. So I, I show I I I hate edge highlighting. I don't do it personally, but I showed Jordan how to do it. And you 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 took to it like a duck to water. Yeah, me I little do it duck. On all of mine now. I like how it brings out certain aspects of it, like with her skirt and things. It gave it a bit more movement. Yeah. But I love their little claws and these these um and the miniatures. I love them. They have them on some of the others as well. And I love painting them. What was the uh, the next one? Now, we, we, it gets a bit hazy because it's been a, a, a fair while since yeah. you did it, so we can't remember whether this was one of the next ones she painted. But this is again one of my favourites. This is a was it a raven a raven, raven mage? mage. Um, absolutely awesome. It's a huge miniature. It's actually bigger than the owl, which is really weird because I don't think in real life ravens are bigger than owls. No, uh, and he's also resin, and the owl is metal. Yeah, yeah. We've got like a nice like black kind of like glossy black feathers and the purple on his little cowl that he's got, and then the, for some reason yeah. he's got purity seals. I think he's maybe come from the forty first millennium. Um, he's you know been blessed by the emperor, um, <laughs> and then you did the, uh, the 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 jewel on his uh, on the, yeah, uh, the staff. staff. I, I was really impressed with the, all the facets that you did, and I think it was where the, the the ink the wash on it pooled like just right. Yeah, it did. And it created like this really nice faceted effect, and you did like. Glowy green eyes because he's a he's a mystical mage. Yeah. Um, I had done the seals in different colours, but I got told off for that because apparently all wax seals have to be red. No, 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 no. I didn't. So I, I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't tell you off. It's just that I thought <laughs> that it it, it would have stood out a little bit more if they're red. And plus, we all know the purity seals are red in the forty first millennium. So shh. <laughs> but yeah. So um. So that that was that was that. I didn't tell you off. <laughs> I merely offered up an alternative paint scheme to those uh, purity mm -hmm. seals <laughs> he was he was really good i really like that and then there was the, there was the basing I, I i did show you how to do that yeah. more effective basing because on the on the owl um when when she when she did the basing you can kind of see the remnants of it on on this um ooh, the light's gone a bit funny so on this you, you kind of just blob the glue in little circles yeah like in an even pattern all over the base and then dust and then put the flock on it and it just looked well, I personally thought it looked a bit. It didn't look natural. Charming. Um, and then, well, no, but you know, you, you'd never done basing before, so you weren't <laughs> to know. Uh, and then over 
over time it kind of so it evolved into more of this what so you can see on the other raven mage it's more kind of well it, it, it's less uniform it's more like natural so to speak and likewise on the uh, the froggos so they're not frogs are they they're toads no they're actually toads i have a frog that i haven't painted yet they look very very different yeah this one's like a he's a more he's a more civilized froge yeah he's a fro frog burger i don't know what a burger is apart from something that you eat i know <laughs> you know I wouldn't I'm, recommend eating. I'm gonna go for a delicious burger later, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so the, the, I mean, the, the, this is an example of the sculpts as as they as they come, and like I say, you can tell that these have a lot of character. They're they're full of imagination, and they're just. I honestly prefer sculpts like this to the GW sculpts. I feel that the GW sculpts now, because they're all done on 3D AutoCAD, they're all just soulless abominations and. You know, there's when you when you when you when you when you a sculptor puts his heart and soul as uh, Michael Lovejoy has on on the on these, uh, it it really shows. And there's a lot of character, a lot of effort. Shut up, Oscar. Shush. Sorry, we have a dog that likes to sit on the window, and he. Um, so I've just deafened everybody with headphones. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. If I had the money, I'd pay for your your hearing aids, but I don't. Um, sorry, our dog's a little bastard at the moment. He's just barking at everyone going past. Oi, shut it. Um, but yeah, so um, that's been a little bit on uh, burrows and badges. Uh, we're probably going to look a, look a little bit more on uh, on, on, on these uh, in the future. So, um, I have quite the collection. Yes, quite the collection that's going on at the moment. So we'll, we'll review some more of these later. So I'll, I'll let you do the outro, Jordan, if you want. Um, I don't really know what to say. Thank you for well, looking you at my little miniatures. You have to emote. <laughs> you have to emote it with your your hands oh. because the hand our hands are the only way we interact with the audience. Unless it's it's we're doing like a vlog, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to do vlogs. No. So the hands have to be emotive. They have to be expressive. Like that, you know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching all my miniatures. I'm a complete novice to this, so. Um, the tattoo you've taken the time to watch my little miniatures means a lot. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you now, and goodbye.